Hello dear friends, this is Devashish and I welcome you all to my channel Statistics Curiosity. Friends, in today's video we will learn how to solve p-value for z test, how to calculate p-value for z test using R software. Okay, this video will provide you one of the easiest manner possible to calculate the p-value for z test. Okay, so we can uh, see there are three kinds of hypothesis tests in general, right tail test, left tail test and two tail test. So first start with the right tail test. For example, the right tail te uh, we have the null hypothesis h not mu is equals to five and h one mu alternative hypothesis h one mu is greater than five. Okay. So we already know the right tail test is the test where alternative hypothesis contains this greater than sign. Okay. So in this example, let's suppose the test statistic we obtain is z is equals to one point four. The test statistic is one point four. and remember the p value is the probability of z greater than this test statistic whatever is the test statistic whether it is 1.4 or any other value you have to find the p uh, the probability of z greater than this test statistic value then this probability will be p value okay this probability will be obtained as 0.0808 then let's see how to obtain this probability using r the r command we use is p norm okay So the command is p norm, and the value is 1.4, the test statistic value. And we already know the mean is equals to zero, and S D is equals to one for standard normal variate. And for greater than sign, we will use lower dot tail equals to false, and it will provide you 0.0807566. Which is 0.0808 if rounded off to the fourth digit after decimal. Okay. Now let's see for the left tail test how you can calculate p value. In left tail test, we already know the alternative hypothesis contains less than sign. Let's suppose the test statistic we obtain is 1.4. So the p value will be probability z less than. Okay. Here is less than. So the probability of z less than the test statistic value, whatever is the test statistic value, you have to find the probability z less than 1.4. This p value will be obtained as 0.9192. Let's see what is what is the R command for this. So we can see p norm 1.4. What we already have to what we only have to do, we have to this type this f as t. Okay. The f means false sign is used when you want to calculate greater than sign probability, and the t that is true is when you have want to solve less than sign probability. Okay, then you press enter, and here you go. You have the probability 0.919243 or 0.9192 as the p value for less than sign or for left tail test. Okay, now let's see. how you can obtain the p value for two tail test for two tail test we have alternative hypothesis containing not equal to sign okay the alternative hypothesis containing not equal to sign here h1 containing mu is not equals to 5 okay let's suppose the test statistic is z is equals to 1.4 then the p value will be 2 multiply 2 times probability of z greater than modulus of 1.4 remember in alternative in two tail test when alternative hypothesis contain not equal to sign if your test statistic is negative for example say is minus 1.4 then the while solving for p value you have to take it as plus 1.4 okay because here is modulus sign okay so you what you have to do you have to take the positive value of test statistic whether it is negative you have to take it as positive 1.4 okay then you have to find probability of z greater than that test statistic value and multiply it by 2 okay in our right tail test we already find this probability z greater than 1.4 as 0.0808 now what we have to do we just have to multiply that probability by 2 okay let's see in r we already know how to find that probability of z greater than 1.4 p norm 1.4 comma mean equal to 0 comma sd equal to 1 lower dot tail equal to false just you have to do you have to multiply this by 2 okay 
now press enter here you go you have the p value 0 0.1615 okay so here is the video about how to calculate p value in case of z test if you want to know more about the p values or you want to know more about how to calculate p value for t test or for chi square test you can comment comment the in the in the video and thank you for watching